I'm feeling so bad that I'm not even gonna bother leaving around like subscribe buttons and you know my Instagram and Patreon handle and stuff. Just gonna get straight to the point. Hello, so this is just an introduction. I want to tell you all um, that there will be another video uploaded today. There's going to be the song that I really have been waiting to make a music video for. But I've been doing so unwell that I just want to put that song out there. So I guess stay tuned for that. But um, I can't wait to see the reaction of the world. Probably mm, nothing as always. But anyways, stay tuned for that song and uh, give me the feedback later when it's uploaded. I'm saying this because my hope is this video can get enough um, revenue to help me make the music video happen. It's been very, 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 very hard. To a point where I feel like even Peep Peep is so sick of me. Or I feel like I'm not doing enough for Peep Peep. That's how bad it is. I feel like I'm not giving Peep Peep enough love that he deserves. It's, <laughs> it's like I'm going insane. Like it's not real, but um, I feel really sad when I forget about him. I don't know, I feel like I'm not doing enough. Like I feel like Peep Peep doesn't deserve me or something. Because I know how painful it is and heavy and unbearable and <sighs> choking. To never have the attention you deserve. The child in me is so fucking broken. So, so broken. It's only natural that I want, need love and attention and be petted all the time and spoken to very lovelily. Anxiety 24-7, help me. I'm going through the depression right now where I can't save myself. Like I need somebody to be around me. But I don't have family, I don't have friends around me. And I'm trying not to blame myself for it. Can't help it. Recently I've been, I'm a very strong person, I can uh, and also this is another thing that's been happening, I'm not able to talk, actually. Help. I'm doing better, I'm supposed to be doing better, but as soon as I, the rent increased so much, I feel stuck, like, with this mental disability payment, I'm supposed to get better, I'm supposed to be spending on my healing journey. But it feels like I'm being punished for being mentally unable to keep a stable job. Mentally unable. I don't have family around me. I should be, I should be, I should parent myself. I'm the only one who can save me at this point. Just please, you can be strong. You've, you've gone through so much. You've already overcome so much. Things will get better. I wanna show you something. You see this Japanese doll? With the face all flaky and fucked up. This Japanese doll feels like it's literally just telling you all my life the things that I went through. It survived homelessness with me, survived suicide attempts with me, survived all the bad chapters with me, even ran away from a toxic household that I lived in. Just so you all know, self-exiting, fuck it, I'll just say it. Suicide had been always in my mind since I was nine years old. I used to look at myself in the mirror and um, like put this scarf on my neck and be like angrily because I hated myself. Um, I've, over, I've overcome. I grew up in a, a very toxic household, like domestic violence, screaming all the time. My mother's seen my mother beaten and stuff. You know what's annoying? Why is it annoying? I guess maybe it's jealousy, I don't know. <sighs> that my family back home have it all better. They have each other. 
They don't understand. They don't understand how much I need them. Like they don't understand that I need them. And when I feel like I'm trying to tell them or show them that, they just don't understand. The reason I'm making this video is because recently it's getting my anxiety is just getting out of hand. I feel like I'm lying to myself and just being like, I'm just so work focused. I can't relax. I can't busk. Like it's a beautiful day out there. I just wanted just to put it out of my chest, I guess. But today I woke up and I was feeling so bad that I've done something that I hate my not I hate myself, but I should have done, I guess. I told all of these feelings to my landlord just say, so oh no, this is how bad it is that I don't have anybody. I told these feelings to my fucking landlord. I told him like all of this happened with the rent increased. It has just already been so many, like so much increasing. And recently I come living in a small chicken coop and I'm paying 1,521. And next year it's going to become 1,716. My mental disability payment is like 2,300 and I already have so much debt. I have minus 500 in my bank. This is all I'm being transparent and telling you all about. <laughs> I'm so tired. Recently I've been catching myself a lot to do and Ah. Uh, my emotional support people is the only person that's around me. Like even before I go to bed, sometimes I just cry. <laughs> just like hug him and cry. Oh, uh, it's not fair. My stories are there. My paintings. And I tell people and I reach out and I advocate for myself and I tell them, please listen to my story. I have a very inspiring story. Always rejected art grants. You look better off. I don't want to give up. I want to give my paintings what they deserve. But when? When is the time? Is it now? How? I have to. Go. I can. I should go bask. Like sell my shit out there. It's so sad that I'm calling my beautiful things shit. And you all are just watching. 3,000 subs. Hardly making an effort to show support. Only one person or two. I'm being... It's like I'm grateful. It's just like when I'm going through this episode. Everything feels like I don't trust anybody. What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Like, this is pitiful. Why am I crying on the phone? Whatever, man. I'm, I'm just so tired. Like, today... All I can do is work. Today I'm suppo supposed to be like um, uploading content and I had some fun ideas. Like when I upload happy content, nobody anyway is going to support, like leave uh, any comment or likes or anything. So it makes my mental health even worse. So might as well, you know, actually upload a video where I'm actually being honest, but still people will not be happy, I feel. Like what does the world want from me, right? Like what does the world want from me? Like I'm trying to be happy, they're not happy with me. And if I'm transparent about being sad, they're not happy with me. Like, what should I do? Like, what would you do if you were me? But I'm tired of... Lying. Tired of... Hey, I'm doing well. Because... Before going homeless, before, when I did this... My subscribers left me. And this is, explains to you why I have got subs. Because before I had so many subs and like people interacting, but as soon as I went homeless and I was talking up and up and talking about my depression and stuff, people started saying, there was like a lot of hate comments. Saying things like, I'm getting bored of your like uh, depression stuff. And then when I went homeless, everybody just left me. That was the most difficult time of my life. People are like, being depressed about very small things and I'm this strong like these small things I've already 
that's how bad had been my life like i have these small things i have anxiety i have bipolar disorder but i have so much more i have major depression so i have everything i have everything well, ptsds of all kinds like i wanted to make a video literally listing all my traumas i've gone through it all basically except going being a war being in war that's the only thing i didn't experience from like the sexual assault from my father from my stepfather beating bullying whatever i went even like well into my adulthood but i'm this kind of person i'm just like raise, raise your head above like even fate how dare fate how dare misfortune try to stand in my way when i'm trying to advocate for myself and bring myself what i deserve but recently hadn't even been eaten even well i hate it i used to go for runs like you all know me i only exercise at home but I still have like the shape and fitness but I try my best and I'm starting to get very dizzy very quickly and I don't know what it's that all about. I'm thinking it's because I haven't been eaten well, I don't know. And it's very strange when I need people the most this is where they disappear. I feel like I'm surrounded by liars sometimes. Except one of you all who know themselves, but I don't know, this is this is my mindset. This as I told you, this is like the problem. I have I distrust people. And I'm in a situation right now where I need people to take me out there, to take me busking, to force me out there. I'm not able to self force myself anymore. I don't have it in me. I'm so anxious. Twenty four seven. I vibrate. It's hard to sleep. Blah blah blah. Stop being a child crying. Things will get better. But yeah. And I'm so it's came it's reached to a point where I feel ashamed to tell people anymore to go check out my website, check out my Patreon, because nobody's doing that. It makes me feel bad about myself. Like what's wrong with me? I have everything I have so many like bu budget friendly things and beautiful things. If I only was like if I was only famous people would actually oh this is great or whatever even if i was like literally a different kind of race like if i was actually japanese the people would be like oh japanese art is cool i have this painting called tsunami just literally talks about a mental breakdown that i had this is what art is about expressing raw feelings and the way how i saw life even though i went through so much and you can't see it like even tsunami itself is small but it's a very heavy painting I have so many paintings such as Tsunami. Sitting around waiting to be exhibited. I don't have the money to exhibit it. <sighs> it's gonna get better. Again, Dream Speed Run is a journey and I'm gonna show the world myself most importantly. That I make it. But then again, if you want to help my healing journey because I'm suffering, not only struggling, you can go get something on my website because I my phone bill has been cut off. I can't even pay for the phone bill. The rent is driving me nuts. So you guys know what I mean by like anxiety attacks that are bad. I'm not talking about just like um, feeling anxious. Like it's my whole body feels it. Like I have to go to the bathroom. I feel sick. Um, what's worst of all? I feel like I have to be very careful, like I have to control, like I feel like I'm almost nearing to get into psychosis or like go insane, but like I have to really, really be careful because I live on my own and this scares me even more. It makes my anxiety worse and I have to be like, some people say like, okay, don't fight anxiety. This is how uh, your mind um, gets more anxious. This is like how I'm trying to relax, but it's been really, really hard. Even like with my sleeping medication, I'm not even to, able to sleep. And like my sketchers, me and him would just stare at each other because we both are just waiting for my story to be heard, for my books to be out there, for me to be found, for me to be saved. <sighs> but I'm afraid of this episode that I go through. I don't know if it's a psychosis or whatever, but I'm very scared. Like when it gets to me, it happened once when I was um, making a video to come about my future letter. But it's really, really bad. Like my head buzzes and I kind of become detached with reality and like my head buzzes and i feel like 
I feel like I'm very, very, like, on the very tip and edge of going insane. So I have to, like, I have to calm down. And I'm very scared. I don't want this to happen. Like, I'm scared for myself, which is a good thing. But, um, like, just right now talking about it makes my head go, like, buzzing. It's like I'm very paranoid, I guess. I'm very paranoid, which explains why I have distrust of people. I'm paranoid of everything. Paranoid to be kicked out again, go homeless again, because my whole life was suffering. So I'm paranoid that I'll never be happy. Sometimes I feel like I'm scaring people by being transparent. It's really, it gets really bad. Like, um, I'm starting to see myself as somebody who's very unpleasant, like my father. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to give myself lots of self-love, but, um, I've been doing this for so many years, so I think, I feel like I need somebody to actually be here for me and always remind me. It must be good to have people around you when you're going to, like, in a healing journey. I wish, I wish I know somebody who is also going the healing journey alone. We can be friends and life can be easier. Probably. Like if I have somebody to actually understand everything that I went through. This is the thing, it's impossible because everything that I went through, I have went through too much. To a point, there's nobody that went through that too much with me. Probably. And when I think of it like, probably there is, they're probably out there being drug addicts and homeless people anyway. Like I'm this like strong. I didn't fall into drug addiction and stuff. Almost did. But um, I've always strived to be wise and good because I just believed in the better future. And right now, you see like I'm getting this like anxiety attacks when I'm also getting detached and like starting to hear my own voice. Uh, I don't know how to even explain it. Like start to hear my own voice and I get detached from my mind. This is what I mean, I'm like, my anxiety is bad. This is how I'm scared I am. It's like my mouth is moving by itself and talking, but my brain is not there. And don't let me start about trying to wake myself up. Like I do uh, try to, I do sleep seven hours, but it's very easy for me to sleep longer. So it's very hard like to tell myself to fight depression. I'm doing it, like I'm fighting depression, getting out of bed. But every time I do it, I'm angry. And I don't know if you guys see, sometimes I post angry things and have to delete it. And I'm doing this a lot recently, a lot, to my landlord, to my sister. It's been very, very bad. Like having to wake up, like it's always in my mind, having to force myself up, having to wash my face, and then I have to feed myself. Like when I say feed myself, it's such a chore. Like I have to feed my eyes off, this kind of chore. It's a beautiful sunny day out there. It's been so long, like I need some sun. But my anxiety is so bad that I know I'm gonna do with myself. Like, I go there, like, I want to read to relax or something, but I can't. My anxiety is too, way too bad. This is, like, also why I can't busk. Like, you guys don't know what, like, hard, bad is my anxiety. Like, I'm always jumpy. Like, I want to do something. Even, like, when I'm trying to relax and watch something, I can't. I have to do something. Even, like, when I'm working, I have to game or something. Like, it's, it's really, really bad. I can't, like, sit doing one thing or two. I have to do even more as I'm... Trying to relax is too much. <sighs> My to-do list is the only thing that's keeping me sane, honestly. I just need people to like help me get out of my head, like literally just chatting. Like I need somebody to make conversation with to get me out of my head. That's all I need. I'm so done being alone, like that's why I think I'm not enjoying like going out, even like if I want to catch some sun, because my thoughts are there. I need to talk to someone, get everything, like I have to get out of my head and see what people are up to. This always like makes me feel better when I remember I'm not alone. But uh, I can't believe it. Like It's more like I have to actually hear people to believe that this is true. By the way, I do have my medications and my like uh, anxiety medication. But um, I don't want to touch it because I attempted suicide with it before. So it's it, like my anxiety medication itself gives me anxiety. But you, you, baby. Given the publisher, it's like 216, like only 216, there's a publisher, um, like a publishing fucking organization thing that I can 
They can help guide me with my books, but I can't afford for that. Like 216, that's all. They can help me with like guidance, but I'll still need like publishing fees and stuff. But at least they can guide me and tell me what I can do with my books or where to go. Then I'm hungry. I should feed myself. I feel nauseated, but I have to feed myself because this is the only way. Nothing is. I'm not having fun of anything anymore. <sighs> Anyways, I hate the fact that this content day has to go with this because I was gonna make something more fun as always. But, um, it is what it is. Because, like, this is my healing journey and this whole YouTube channel. So, it is what it is. But anyway, you can go get uh, my books, Tell You My Story, The Homeless Photographer, and uh, Mency, Paintings, Broken Paintings Throughout Homelessness and uh, Lockdown that I made. And I'm not gonna give up. Never. And if I'm gonna go insane, at least I'm gonna go insane with purpose. Okay? Okay. Yokoshima out. Like it's really hard and painful. It's easier to give up than at this point to just keep moving. It's so so painful. Like this anxiety is just too much. Help.